Well, Tiff and Tech fans, we're here with professional driver. Professional driver. Tiff and Tech. Chauffeur extraordinaire. Yeah, we're, we haven't died yet, so this is good. <laughs> we're on our way to Muskoka. Um, we're staying there for two nights. Paul's going to do a lot of golfing, which I'm sure you're very excited about. Yes. And Keep your eyes on the road. Don't look at the camera. Focus. No, and um, I'm going to be working still. I'm going to be working um, Monday. We come back Tuesday. Just to get out of the house and do something yeah. a little bit different. Yeah, it's super gorgeous up here. It's like all nature. So we go hiking. Um, we get some great restaurants. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned. Stay we'll, tuned. We'll keep you filled in. Okay, so we just got to the room. Paul is already out golfing, but I'm going to give you a quick little room tour. Um, and then I have a bit of tip and tech work to do, and then I am going to go explore. Okay, so we have... We just put all our stuff down, so it's a little bit of a mess. We have the bed, a little seating area, TV, with another seating area. We also have a really nice fireplace, actually, which will be amazing. And the best part is the view. Look at these chairs here. This, this is where I am going to be working for the next few days with this view. Like, how gorgeous is this? Okay, let's go outside, actually. I gotta give you a proper view. Gorgeous is this, it's so peaceful. So yeah, this is, um, we decided to just kind of get out of Toronto for a bit and Paul wanted to do some golfing, of course, and they have some amazing golf courses up here. So I'm not golfing. I know I'm kind of trying to learn how to golf, but I'm definitely not there yet where I can actually like join him on like a professional fancy golf course. Um, so I'm gonna go on a hike today. Um, and I actually, I know it's very not exciting, but I have some work I need to do for tip and tech stuff. Some invoicing and contracts and things like that. So gonna finish that. And then what is going on with my hair here? And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna go explore and be in nature. Okay, okay, so I um, went on a little walk and came by the water, which is so gorgeous. I'll show you in a second here. I have to keep my hand here, else it's so bright. Um, but it's just so nice and so relaxing, and honestly, it just makes me so thankful to have a job where I can be working remote or working anywhere, kind of from anywhere, which is just honestly I'll never take for granted. It's so nice, and oh just to not have to be going into office, but just open up your computer and work from anywhere in the world is honestly, it never gets old. And it's one of the favorite parts, my favorite parts about my job. And I definitely wanna to talk to you a little bit about the pros and cons of working remote, because there definitely is so many pros and cons. It's not just like all pros, even though most of the time it feels like it, but it can be kind of lonely or, you know, when you're working from home especially, it can get kind of lonely working remotely. But then it's moments like this where you actually get to travel or go on little trips and get away that you're like, thank goodness I'm currently working remote. Friends, good morning. Um, I'm just on my way to get some coffee and then get, I had some meetings this morning which I just finished. Um, uh, one for um, IBM and then one for Tiffin Tech. So I have a really cool partnership coming up actually with a cryptocurrency company um, and they focus on Bitcoin and I'm really excited about that. So I had some really great chats with them about creating content because I want to create content that like even if it's around cryptocurrency that is accessible to everyone, like everyone can understand it and how it works and just make it easy to understand. Like it shouldn't be this big barrier of entry. Anyways, that's about that. I am just on my way to get some coffee. I've already had one this morning, but what is, who needs just one when you can have multiple cups of coffee? Okay, coffee is a success. Oh, I have to show you the shirt I'm wearing, actually. We got a bunch of, I think I mentioned this, I'm not sure, but we got a bunch of really cool vintage um, kind of tech shirts. So I'm wearing a Star Wars one right now. Well, Star Wars on the back anyways. 
Um, so I'll show you when I get, I can't really do much right now because of my pants. This is a skill. Um, yeah, I'll show you when I get back to the room. But uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna go back to the room, finish up a big feature I've been working on. Um, and also because it is a front end feature, I'm going to meet with the designer just to get approval on the designs. I like to get approval on designs before I actually do a PR for it because sometimes <laughs> what you think the designer wants and what they actually want are two different things. So it's good just to be on the same page before the code actually gets live into production. Um, and then the designer's like really upset with you. Like, what did you do? You know, we just like to, developers just like to add their own features to things and make it how we want it to be. <laughs> so I just got back to the room a while ago. I've been doing a ton of work um, for just different to finish up my ticket and then what else was I doing? Finishing my ticket mostly, making sure that the designs were okay. I had to change some things, so focused on that. But I wanted to come on here because I told you I would show you my shirt. So let's see. I know it's gonna be flipped on the camera, but can you see it says Star Trek the Next Generation? How sweet is that? I just love this shirt. We just got it. Um oh and I look like I have a stain on it already. This is how clumsy I am. Um, but yeah, I'm really into like vintage kind of graphic tech tees lately. Um, so you'll see like them in a lot of my, what is this hair? This is, it's a disaster. This is what happens when you spend your whole morning coding and drinking coffee. I'm going, it's lunchtime now. So I'm going to go to the restaurant and just take myself out for some lunch. Um, Paul is still golfing and then he'll be done around the end of my work day. And we are going to go on a bike ride or do a hike or some kind of outdoor activity because it's so gorgeous right now. I'll show you what I am looking at. Like, oh, amazing. This is some of the benefits of working remote. Obviously the setup, which I will show you as well, is not perfect. Like there's just a computer for a bunch of stuff, but I can't imagine ever going fully back into office. I mean, it would be nice to go back into office sometimes, but I'm definitely for not going into office full time. I absolutely love working remote and just, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to make this video and have some more like pros and cons, but I feel like I'm biased because it's just so amazing working remote and being able to travel and work from anywhere. And I mean, obviously there's downsides like Wi-Fi. Sometimes Wi-Fi sucks or fails, um, but overall it's just so much more freeing and makes working for a company a lot more enjoyable in my opinion. Uh, but I'm interested to hear what your thoughts are. Are you fully remote? Are you a mixture, like a hybrid? Uh, what's your preference? Because I think everyone has such a different preference. I've noticed though a lot of people prefer hybrid, which I would too. And I'm sure I'll get back to doing hybrid. It just hasn't happened yet here in Canada. We're all remote still, um, but one day that will happen. Okay, I am just going to the restaurant to get some lunch um, and have a little date with myself. AKA answer emails, but you know. Okay, so what are we doing? We're going kayaking. We're going kayaking. This is your idea. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know. As long as we stay in the kayak, I feel like we're okay. Stay tuned. We might end up in the lake. We might end up in the lake. I hope not, because I'm bringing my phone, so we'll see. Hey, we're here. Captain Steer a lot. I know. Here. She was like, oh, Chip, you can sit in the front and, you know, paddle if you want or whatever. And then there's Paul back there, the muscle. Powering us through. I know. We're going pretty fast, I gotta say. This is impressive. Although it is only like one, like the water I think is like one foot deep. Maybe two. Maybe two. So if we fall over it. This isn't exactly high risk kayak. No, it's not, but it's really fun. Yeah. Being a rebel and took off his life jacket. I said you're being a rebel and took off yeah, your life jacket. Life jacket. You're I'm over it. It's kind of warm too. It's really warm. Give me, a, give me a life jacket that would fit Tiffany. <laughs> it's really warm actually. It's warm. The sweatshirt's the next thing coming out. I know. I'm really warm. Oh, and the water. Yeah, I know. The water is like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like my legs are completely wet now, but it actually feels really nice. So there you go.
Okay, we just finished. We saw it. So we're at our friend's cottage and um, Paul saw it. He said that we could borrow his jet ski. So we were like- Sea-doo, sea-doo. Sea-doo, sorry, sea-doo. And- Jet ski is standing. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My hat, I lost my hat, but we got it back. It's soaking wet. Yeah, we lost the hat in the middle of the lake. <laughs> That and then fun. we almost ran out of gas, so we yeah. thought we'd better bring it back. It home. was quite the adventure. So now we are going back though to back in the kayak. The kayak. This is fun. I'm having a lot of fun here. <laughs> okay. Hi friends. Okay, we just got back um, to Toronto from Muskoka. Uh, I was gonna vlog more of um, like coming home, but uh, honestly, it was just me sitting there with my computer working and taking meetings because I had to. The drive is about an hour and a half and I had to have some meetings. So I was literally just sitting like in the front with a pillow and then my laptop on the pillow, uh, taking some different calls for uh, work and different things like that. But it actually went pretty smoothly. Um, I didn't lose service or anything, which was so good. And uh, yeah, so now I have the entire day back at home to work. It feels so good to be in my office with double monitors and um, kind of getting back into the swing of things. Um, the break was so needed and it just felt so good. So I feel co totally like ready to, I don't know, continue on with the week and even just like little getaways like that make such a difference and um, I don't know, really help. You know, Paul's now, Paul and I both now, you know, all our businesses are digital and where I work at IBM is all digital right now. Like I can work from anywhere. So it's really nice to be able to do those kind of little getaways and little trips. Um, obviously we want to do some bigger ones, which hopefully will be coming. What bigger trips are we doing this year? I feel like this year is not too many big trips, but a lot of really fun small trips. And then next year is like Europe, um, a lot in the States, a lot of really fun trips coming up. But this year, just because it was so unexpected still or unknown with everything going on in the world that we just kind of um, are doing more smaller little trips. But Anyways, oh, I wanna show you. I got this really cool, you can see it's right there, um, kind of light to add on to my desk setup here. One second, I'll show you. Okay, so you can't really see, it doesn't look like it's on. You can't tell because it's so bright in here right now, but in the evening it'll be better. But it looks like a book, but what it is, let me see, come on. It's like magnetic, so it's hard to open. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. How talented am I? There we go. You can open it to become this gorgeous light. Like how lovely is that? I mean, I, once again, it really is bright. I promise you just can't tell, but it's so nice. So I thought I'd make a nice addition for right here. And then I took these books down that were above it. Um, so I'm gonna replace it with that, but I think it's a nice addition. I'll show you, I'll put it up. Once again, this is hard to do with one hand. I'm not that talented, okay? There we go. And then I'll step away and show you. This is where the desk, the progress is at right now, as you can see. And then I have the Peloton over here, my camera, cause I was just filming. Um, and then the big win window over here with some more filming equipment. And then the mirror over here, but it's just kind of getting to be a disaster in this corner. So I need to figure this out. Um, it's just like random filming equipment, but this, let's focus on this, because this looks really nice right now. Okay, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and um, kind of felt relaxing as well, coming along with us to Muskoka and getting away and um, our fun little adventures we did. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related content. And also to, I'll continue to every Thursday share um, what I'm up to for the week, whether it be tech related, personal, usually a bit of both. Um, but if you have any suggestions for these vlogs, let me know in the comments and make sure to like this video and subscribe, like, and I love you. You're amazing. And I'll see you soon. Thanks everyone.